this is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to fall from within This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face Tuesday. It is Tuesday, March 28th. It's almost 1030. I have been, well, I took you along on some of my morning this morning. I just finished getting some chores done around the house. It is spring break for my boys and they are actually in West Virginia spending time with family. So it's a kind of a weird day in the life vlog. Um, I mean, it's pretty normal for me. My boys are both in school out of the house during the day. So I am typically your, but I say by myself, but with all the animals <laughs> by myself all day. So yeah, I thought we would do a day in the life vlog today. So I had somewhat of a normal day. I just didn't have the school craziness getting the kids up and out the door for school, but Got up, got my workout in, had some breakfast, got ready for the day, did some things around the house. And now I am sitting down, I am in my office, in, which is also our guest room, and I am sitting down to just look over my emails, see if there's anything that I need to respond to or answer, um, all of that stuff. Because email is the best way to contact me. Like I should always say that on the podcast and I always forget. But yes, if you have a question or anything you need to reach out to me about, email is the best way. Instagram messages, YouTube comments are not. They can get lost in the shuffle. So email is always the best way. It's always listed below these videos. It's also in my Instagram profile. But I have just poured myself another cup of coffee and I did grab a little bit of a treat for this morning. I made no-bake cookies last week and I froze them. They freeze so well if you've never done that. I will put my no-bake cookie recipe below, but I froze some of them and I pulled a bag. I freeze them in bags of two and I pulled a bag out of the freezer this morning because I thought that sounded delicious. I was going to make cookies today, chocolate chip cookies, um, but I think I'm going to wait and do that tomorrow or even Thursday. Wait till it's closer to when the boys are coming back so that way I have some help eating them. <laughs> and I'm also waiting on some ingredients to get here that I ordered. I'm trying a new recipe. Um, 
I will share in the future if it works out and is any good, but I'm trying a gluten-free recipe, so we will see. This is my first time attempting gluten-free cookies, um, chocolate chip cookies. So we will see how they turn out, and if it's any good, I will share on a future vlog or something like that. So all right, let's check some emails, and then I am itching to go do something. I have not, I knit for just a few moments on the treadmill this morning. Not much at all. Um, my workouts, I've just been feeling so good lately and so just ready to go in my workouts that they've been a little more intense than normal. So I don't knit when I'm doing anything close to like a run or anything like with a super high incline. So I have not been knitting on the treadmill as much lately. So I only did a few rows this morning on the treadmill. So I am ready to go do some knitting, crocheting, cross stitching. I'm not sure what. I really just want to cross stitch, but I also have, I've been trying to keep up with my row one minis and my Patreon minis. Um, row one's a yarn subscription service you guys heard me talk about so many times before. And my Patreon minis, I am a homespun house Patreon and I have the option that gets three mini skeins a month. So I have those. Maybe I'll work on one of those projects today. I'm trying to get them worked up in the month I receive them. And we are almost to the end of March and I have not worked up the ones that I have currently. So we will see, but all I want to do is cross stitch. down down here in my corner of the basement <laughs> and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to work on so this is the cross stitch that I have been working on I started this ages ago yesterday I sat down I'll show a picture of what it looked like when I sat down to work on it yesterday and I got a good bit done on it yesterday so that was super exciting I'm having so much fun adding this back into like my craft rotation because I have not touched cross stitch in forever and I have so many little this was a kit and I do have it linked on my Amazon storefront which you can find the link for down below um but anyways I have so many kits and different things I bought for just pictures to put up around the house or Christmas decorations or different things so I really really want to work on this and get it done so that I can have it up around the house and so that I can start another one. <laughs> but I need, I have my row one granny square back here. I do need to add the minis into it. Work on my Patreon minis. That blanket is in here. I am doing, there's three a month that I've just done one month so far. I have the second month's minis that I need to work on next um so yes I'm really itching so what I'm wanting to do and I may have talked about this on the podcast what I'm wanting to do with my row one minis I'm wanting to finish this big square granny square blanket off and start a DK weight jelly roll blanket with them holding them double because I'm holding them double with this it's a which gives you a DK weight and it's huge like it's so big but I'm like do I keep going and make it even larger or do I call it good I don't know what I want to do 
um, my cross stitch thread is laying over the arm of the chair. Better be careful with that or I'm going to end up losing it. So yeah, I can't decide what I want to do. Because I really want to do, I'm loving my fingering weight jelly roll and I really want to do a DK weight one so badly. So I don't know, I'm trying to see where my, I'm right here. Maybe I'll start, I'll work on this, I'll see like how much I use to get around to wherever my beginning of round is. and go from there. Maybe that's what I'll do. Cause I have to finish off this round regardless. So maybe I'll work on this for right now, finish off this round, decide while I'm doing that, what I'm going to do. Am I gonna keep making this bigger or am I going to call it good as a throw sized blanket? Cause it is pretty massive and it's a good like throw over your lap blanket for sitting in a chair you could even snuggle up on the couch like lay down under it too but maybe that's what I'll do and then decide from there because I really just want to start a DK weight jelly roll I'm just having way too much fun with the fingering weight one and I think it would be a fun way to use up these row one minis I'm getting every month so that might be what I do all right let's get going on this and I'll check back in in a bit. Okay, I've actually, I text my friend Jenny to see what she thinks, but I think I'm gonna do it. I think I've decided I am just gonna go ahead and start a DK weight jelly roll. I'll show you here, but I looked to see, like finally found my beginning of round and it. I just started this round. So I think I'm gonna rip back to the beginning of round, finish this off, and then I'll just use what I rip back in my DK weight jelly roll is my starting collar, I think. I think I'm just gonna do it because that's what I wanna work on right now and let's do it. What do you think, Calvin? Kitty, 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 should I do it? There's Mr. Dexter who is still, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before, scared to come downstairs, and we don't know why. We can pick him up and bring him down here, but he usually just runs right back up. We are not sure why he's scared of the basement. If it's from when we had the flood down here, and there was no carpet, and it was kind of a disaster area, construction zone, or what? but he will not come downstairs. Come on, Dexter. You go come downstairs? Come on. <laughs> okay, I'm covered up with this and you can see it's pretty big, like it's a huge square. Um, but here is, so that's where I get to focus here. That's where I put a marker in to, so it wouldn't pull back anymore. That's where I left off. And if you just go right here, that is my beginning of round. So I think I'm just gonna rip back to there, finish it off. Cause that's not very much. And when I saw that I was like that close to having just started the round, I was like, oh my gosh, I do not want to have to do an entire round on this blanket because it is massive. Um, and then decide what I want to do. I just want to start a DK weight jelly roll and that's what we're gonna do. So all right, let's get this going.
started. So I am following the Jelly Roll Blanket pattern by Kay Jones, but I am using DK weight instead of fingering weight. Fingering weight is what my other Jelly Roll Blanket is. So for this one, I'm doing um, fingering weight held double, which gives a DK weight. This was what I had to rip back to get to the beginning of the round. So I started my first strip with this one. And now I have the first yarn out of my March row one. It is Knit Circus this month. So when I do these DK weight, because I've done this with the row one minis quite a few times before, I pull from the outside. So they are wound like this. And I pull from the outside, then you just kind of like I open up the center to try to find the inside end. And then just hold them double. And now I will just start knitting this one. It pulls right from the inside and the outside in to my first strip. So I have cast on 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 stitches. For my fingering weight, I believe I'm doing 25 per strip. Um, I don't know. I just thought 18 seemed like a good number. I will link the project page for this down below. I need to start it. Uh, I'm using a US 5 3.75 millimeter. And I really like the fabric that that is giving me. So I'm going to continue with that. I just kind of picked a needle size and went with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am gonna, I'm gonna weave in the ends as I go as well, I should say that. And I have a tutorial here on YouTube showing how I do that. It's showing it on socks, but I'm doing it the same exact way that I do on there. So just gonna weave them in as I go so that I don't have a bunch of ends to deal with. I'm just going to work on this for a little bit. Um, now that I'm knitting this, I mean, it is DK weight, so it's going to go quicker. But crocheting these minis up at a DK weight gauge went so ridiculously fast. And I don't know that knitting them up will go quite as fast. But we'll see. Because it is close to the end of the month, but that's okay. If I don't get them done by the end of the month, it is not a huge deal. I was just trying to get them done within the month that I received them since I got caught up with them because I had quite a little bit of a backlog of them. But now that I'm caught up, I would like to keep as caught up as I can with them. So I'm going to work on this for a bit. There's almost, well it's noon, so almost time to go make some lunch. For lunch I did, we had some potatoes that we had roasted in the oven last with last night's dinner. So I had that, some bacon that was crumbled up and left from the dinner the night before. I did one full egg and one egg white, um, some tomatoes, salsa, cheese, just cooked it all up in a skillet. It is delicious. Perfect little edge.
knit some more on my blanket, but I stopped at the computer <laughs> to order some signature needle arts needles for my DK Weight Jelly Roll because I just love them so much. They're straight needles. I use them on, you'll have seen them on my Cozy Memories, my Fingering Weight Jelly Roll. They just make a project extra special. So, looking on here <laughs> to see, make sure I've got everything correct. Okay, so I ordered the straight needles, seven inch length, which is what I have for my other ones, stiletto point, and the spiral cap that's on the end. US 5, 3.75 millimeter. Very, very excited to get these. <laughs> guys are a little crooked here. Okay, I just sat down to work some more my blanket and I've made an executive decision here. I think I'm gonna rip this out. And all of my Patreon minis, I'm gonna hold double and add into this blanket as well. I like this, but I'm not loving it or wanting to work on it. So, and it's not the yarn, it's just I'm not loving the closed granny square. It's fun, it's different, something different to do, but I was gonna do all Patreon minis in this, but I think I just want to throw them in my DK weight jelly roll because I'm really obsessed with that pattern right now if you cannot tell <laughs> so I think that's what I'm gonna do all my ends are already woven in and everything so it's gonna be kind of a pain but it will be fine I will rip these out not right now but um, once I finish the March row one minis I will rip this out add these in and then I have these ones are January. So these ones were December Patreon. These are January and I actually received February yesterday. So I will have all of these that I can add in as well. So I'm gonna work on this. I might add one more mini in and then I'm probably gonna cross stitch for a bit. It is almost 1.30 and we have date night tonight. We will probably not leave until four. So. I have a little bit of time. I have nothing else to get done today. This is seriously such <laughs> a weird day in the life of vlog because the kids are not home this week. So when it comes to like stuff around the house, I don't have that much stuff to get done around the house. I don't have that much going on because the kids aren't here for me to make sure they're on track with their things or, you know, if Austin's driving himself now, but if, you know, Wyatt needs a ride somewhere or something's going on, there's just not that much this week. So kind of a weird day in the life of vlog, but you see a little bit of my crafting anyways. And I will try to remember to vlog on date night tonight a little bit. I always forget when we are like out at date night or something to vlog anything usually because I don't know, we're just having such a good time and we try to really take that time um, to just talk and enjoy each other. So I always forget to do any of that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna try to remember tonight because we're going to Cooper's Hawk. That's my favorite place. We are going to do a wine tasting and then we are going to have dinner. I'm very excited about it. So okay, one more mini. I'm just gonna kind of randomly pick. Ooh, this one is on the catwalk. Let's add this one. Then we're gonna cross it. I don't know if you can hear, but my neighbors are having their yard mowed today. This is gonna start a thing in the neighborhood. This is the first person in the neighborhood that I have seen anyways, and I know nobody has yet because it would have started this, to mow their yard this spring. Now it will be just a matter of hours or days. I'm probably thinking hours, maybe tomorrow, that it will start like a chain reaction in the neighborhood of all the men 
needing to mow the grass. It's gonna happen. It is. Okay, I just got an order from Target. Let's open it up. I got some new placemats. Only three, I think, came in this order. I have three more coming um, in another order. They didn't ship together for whatever reason, but look how pretty those are. I thought those would be great for spring and summer. They are earth in hand. I don't know, I just thought they were so pretty, so I'm gonna get those out. I just grabbed a couple of t-shirts, nothing super exciting. Just trying to update my wardrobe a bit for spring and summer. Grab a couple of new things to try them on and make sure they fit. Pretty green. And then just a basic white. A very tiny little vase. How cute is that? So pretty. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put this yet. Maybe just right here on the centerpiece. Just for like a tiny little bud is what it's for. I think it'll be perfect. And then just a clear glass tray. These are all the same brand as the um, placemats. That is not going to focus, but they're all that same brand. All this is from Target. I will show you what this is for in just a bit. I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up here. All right, it is a little bit later. It is after three. Eric should be home very shortly. I just sat down to have a little bit of a snack, you will have just seen. And because I'll probably get questions, I have not always been gluten-free. This is a new thing. I'm doing an elimination diet right now, and it's looking like I will be gluten-free <laughs> from now on. Um, but yes, so that's new, just because I know Somebody will probably ask since I've shown that and I've mentioned gluten-free cookie recipe earlier. Anyways, um, I don't know what else I've got on here to say. I'm going to have my snack and work some more on my DK Weight Jelly Roll blanket until it is time to leave for date night at about four, I think is when we're gonna leave. So this will probably Maybe not, maybe I'll check in later, but this might be the last time I talk on the vlog. So if it is, thank you guys so much for joining me for this day in the life vlog. It's been a while since I've done one of these. There was Vlogmas, of course, not that long ago, but a true day in the life vlog, it has been a while. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and thank you for joining me. And I will take you along for the rest of our evening. But I will see you guys again soon. Did you just hear Chloe? She's like, stop talking woman. I will see you guys again soon with a regular episode, but until then, happy making.